What's up guys, it's LP, and welcome back to my Zelda Let's Play, this is episode 7. In the last episode I put the three spiritual stones in here, opened up the door of time, took out the master sword, and everything went to crap. Uh, obviously it's 7 years have passed now, I'm old, and it's time to get out of here. Unfortunately I have a little bit more explaining to do. I just did about 8 minutes worth of calm uh, and realized that my mic was scratching. It was popping in and out. It's from when my dog dragged it across the basement. And so it's completely unusable footage. It actually stopped working. I looked down and saw that my mic was recording but it wasn't on anymore. Or it wasn't recognizing sound. So I stopped the recording and I played it back and realized it was it was junk. So, unfortunately, I, I didn't really do anything. All I've done so far is collect some rupees, because uh, what I want to do in this episode, there are five temples that I need to go to. And the first temple I need to go to is the Forest Temple. In order to get into the Forest Temple, I need a tool, which we have to go to Kakariko Village to get, or Kakariko, or whatever. And uh, I also have to go get Epona, our horse. I got her song. In the last episode, and I also want to uh, start my bigger on sword little quest. Uh, it's basically just a giant sword that does more damage, and it's badass looking. So we're gonna head out of the Temple of Time for the first time. You know, when I was a kid, this was pretty shocking. As you can see, it's seven years later. Everything's completely changed. Uh, the mountain obviously has a ring of fire around it. You know, you guys who've never seen the game, it probably doesn't mean anything to you, but. This is this was pretty crazy, you know, when I came out here the first time when I was a kid. It was pretty shocking. And, uh... Well, as you can see here, the market is completely trashed. Uh, I've already been out here, so it's not going to play the little mini cutscene, but... Uh, because it didn't record last... or my mic was messed up last time. But as you can see, the castle is uh, completely changed. Ganondorf has taken over. Hyrule. Uh, we can't even get to that castle right now. It's floating over a pool of lava. Uh, so the first things that we need to do are, or so the things that we need to do are do the uh, temples. There's five of them. I'm going to try and do each one in an episode. They aren't that long. I would say each one probably takes about 20 to 25 minutes. So if I can do that each in an episode, uh, there's five episodes. Plus this is going to be an episode just kind of doing some side missions and maybe throwing another uh, episode for the final castle and maybe another episode after that so we got probably about eight or nine episodes left so we're we're almost halfway and uh what i'm doing now what i'm doing now is looking like a jackass i'm taller so i can't just break these by swiping i actually have to like thrust at them <laughs> uh, we are getting money because when we go to epona uh we need money in order to get her so this room is just kind of like a little bonus room it always has been come on man Oh my gosh, such a pain. I know I can just pick it up and throw it, but... You give me wood. Uh, let's see here. That should be enough. So we're going to head on out. And obviously, uh, Epona is at this ranch up here. We need it to be daytime. So we'll just fire up our song of light or whatever. Song of sun. Sun song, something, something like that. I don't know. Sun song, there we go. It's got the name right in front of me. So we'll run up to the ranch here, and if you remember, this was uh, Talon's ranch, uh, but it's actually been taken over by one of, I don't know if he's necessarily a Ganondorf follower, but he basically asked Ganondorf for the ranch. He's an evil man, whatever. But he has an amazing mustache, and that's all that matters, right? And uh, I'm really worried, shut up, Navi. I'm really worried about my mic, so I will probably stop the recording here in a second, play it back, make sure that my mic is going well, so you might see a quick transition, uh, and then I'll get right back to it. Alright, we are back. Everything seems to be going good, sorry about that. Maybe I need to contact Triton about getting some new headset. So this is the guy with the amazing mustache and amazing eyebrows, to be honest. And he is the new ranch owner. He is Ingo. <laughs> a jackass, I know. Crazy. Another jackass. Yeah, 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 I don't care. 
Come on. I don't care about your soap opera. But yes, I say I want to ride. Takes 10 rupees from me. No, I don't care. And this is where Epona's song comes in uh, handy. Or why we got it in the first place. It gives me a minute to ride. Uh, Epona will run away from us if we try and go up to her. But we play the song and she comes running right up to us and allows us to uh, ride. And uh, I think the first time is just kind of nonsense. I don't really think it matters if I actually ride around for the minute. When I talk to him, he basically says he knows me, asks me if I'm done, say yes, I'm done. And then I say I want to ride again. No, I don't. Why I have to ride twice, I don't really know. But same thing, we run out. We get uh, Epona. And uh, this time, I believe, he will challenge us to a race. I guess he says something like, Oh, you're getting pretty good on her, so I guess I need to ride more than once. And uh, he's a cheating prick. And it's actually not that easy. Or it's not that for me. Or at least I... The way I remember it, it's not that easy. So let's do it. 50 rupees. If I don't beat him, I gotta go find 50 more rupees. So hopefully we beat him. So he's a cheating ass. I think I stay behind him. See if he bumps me, I slow down. I think if I stay behind him to the last, I should not have done that. Just let all of our carrots come back. I think on this last turn, he goes wide. And that's when I jump inside. Take the lead. Oh, I got one more carrot. Money. Suck on it. Impo or whatever your name was. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, 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 you lost. Look at that. he's even got the he's even got the hair coming up off his chest all the way up onto his neck. So now I gotta race him again. Thank goodness not double or nothing, because I don't have enough money. But I think it's pretty much the same race again. I'm gonna stay outside. I'm gonna keep all my carrots, just kinda stay behind him. And I think on the last turn again he will go wide. Right here. And I overtake him. Use my last carrots. And money. He's actually pretty funny when he freaks out though. Look at him. <laughs> you know, you love this kind of stuff when you're a kid, watching this stuff. How did you tame that wild horse? With a song, of course. By the power of music. Look at me, he goes normal, he's like, ah, ha, ha. As I promised, I'll give you the horse, but then he won't, give, he won't actually let me leave. And uh, embarrassingly enough, when I was a kid, this actually, I didn't have... You know, books or anything to tell me. I didn't know how to get out of here. And all I had to do was, and I think a friend ended up telling me, all I got to do is jump over the fence. <laughs> and then, then I get my horse. So. That is uh, how you get Epona. For the millions that care. <laughs> Actually, you know, some of you said that you're going to rebuy the game or buy the game for the first time and play it. And I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty cool. So the next thing I want to do is stupid horse oh come on you can't just run down that uh the next thing i want to do is head to goron mountain actually you know what i think i gotta go to the lost forest and uh meet with the old man that's sitting in there or something come on get down no navi i don't care and this is to uh, start my little... There's a long sequence to try and get this uh, bigger on sword. But uh, I asked in the last episode if people wanted to see stuff like this. And they said yes, so... Or it was, in, it was a discussion in the comments, I guess you could say. So what we need to do is go up to the Lost Forest. Which I'm not even sure you guys have seen because my... My mic was cutting out or something during it. I don't remember. I gotta make sure to keep looking down and make sure my mic is still going. But uh, we come in here and there should be a little guy in here. And this guy who wants to kill me. 
Oh no! No, I was wrong. I gotta go to Kakariko Village first. Kakariko, whatever. So that was a bunch of running for nothing. And I know for some reason, I had a couple people get really fussy with me for skipping certain parts. And by skipping certain parts, I mean usually when I'm just running. Uh, guys, I'm just going to cut that out. I'm, I'm not going to change that. That's a whole lot of nonsense. I mean, I keep the recording going. So if something of significance happens or something funny happens or whatever, then I can uh, show you guys. But there's no sense in me just showing you, you know, me running around like a jackass. So you guys know where... Uh... Oh, come on, you stupid horse. You guys know where... Get your ass out of the camera. You guys know where Kakariko or Kakariko or whatever village uh, is. So I'm just going to ride up there. I'm going to run up the village and to the same woman where I got the bottles from before. Ah, uh, Kakariko Village. Nice and peaceful. As you can see, this is our first time here. Uh, now that it's um, seven years later, there's really not that much of a difference besides this building right here, which was under construction before, is now built. I believe she gives me a cuckoo. I don't know what is with this lady and cuckoos. Alright, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the impression. I had no idea what they were supposed to sound like. You know, I would have thought cuckoo was not spelled that way, so I might be saying that wrong. <laughs> Alright, one of the nice things about this, I believe I can use the Song of Sons to make that chicken hatch. Instead of us having to wait an entire day. If I remember correctly, that, that works. Boom, look at that. Alright, come on, let me hit the start button. So now I have the chicken. And that's actually not for the old guy yet. This this starts a long string of things that I need to do just to get my bigger on sword. And I actually don't even get it on till later. Um, get it into my inventory till later. But here we find Talon yet again sleeping like a jackass. And we have to wake him up again and tell him to go back and do something, I don't know, maybe he just stands for like an idiot, I have no idea. So now we go back out to the lady with the bottles. And I'm surprised a lot of you said you actually like stuff like this, you know, it's it's fun watching me go into the caverns and stuff, but, you know, doing some of these side missions. Uh, I, you know, I'm thinking, like I said, I think we're, I'm, I'm thinking we're almost halfway done. We gotta get the, the five temples, then we gotta beat the last castle, and, you know, I'll probably reserve like an episode, it's, so it's six episodes, and I'll probably reserve an episode or two for doing stuff like this. Alright, alright, come on. Snow, I got a blue cuckoo. So, there's this is a lot of running around, so I'm going to edit this stuff out. Let me finish what I was saying. So, we're, I'm looking at probably about eight or nine episodes left. So that's not too bad. And so maybe just a couple weeks and we'll be done. But uh, this is kind of what I was talking about. This is a lot of running. I'm going right back to where I just was. So I'm going to meet you guys back at that little guy that we found in the... Uh, of course, my horse is still up there. Um, in the Lost Woods. All right, so all I did was just come back through the woods... I just make my first left. Then we wake up this old man who just looks terrible. Man, he looks terrible. He says, I must be a nice guy because I can make a cuckoo grow. Or make a cuckoo cuckoo or whatever. So now I need to go right back where I just was. <laughs> and take this mushroom to what's-her-face. So that, uh she can make a medicine for him but and I, I can't do any warping or actually I don't even think I have any of that anyway but uh, so what I'm gonna do 
I mean, that's three minutes of running. Uh, I promise I'll make it in time. They don't really make it that suspenseful. <laughs> so, I will see you guys back at the village. Alright, we are in the back of the village. We just ran through the potion shop. And now we're walking to the back of whatever this thing is. I swear this takes like three times to get to work. Or twice. Even though I didn't move at all. <laughs> so she says, that bum makes him the medicine. And guess where I'm going next? I bet you guys can't guess. I bet you guys can't guess. <laughs> I have to run right back where I just was. To uh, give him his medicine. So... I'm going to uh, do exactly what I just did. I'm going to run back to the forest. This one's not even timed. I'm not going to do anything else on the way. I'm just going to run back to the forest. And uh, we'll see you guys there. Alright, we are back again in the Lost Woods. Again. And come to find out, he's not even here anymore. So we give the medicine to the little girl. Um, she says anybody comes in here is lost. I get out all the time. So she takes the mushroom and gives me this saw. And the saw, I have to run over to one of my favorite parts on the game. And that is to the uh, Gerudo Fortress, I believe. I actually stopped just short of the Grudo Fortress, but the Grudos are thieves in Hyrule. I believe Ganondorf is their leader. And they are an all-female <laughs> all-female group or something like that. I don't really remember, but uh, I have to run that over there. It's to a spot on the map where we probably haven't even been yet before. So I'm actually, uh, I won't cut that out. Come on, stupid horse, get out of here. I can jump over a 15 foot wall, but not a 6 inch root sitting out of the ground. Oh, I remember this fence. I always have trouble jumping over this fence. Let's see how we do. Oh my gosh. I actually jumped over. So what we are doing, we are taking that saw. I don't even remember how I figured this stuff out. I mean, this was, this was back in the day of uh, when you had to use like gamer guides or whatever they were called back then in order to figure this kind of stuff out because I don't know anybody who would just figure this out unless they're like searching the world and just happen to come across it so we are heading out to uh, it's it's on the way to that fortress and it's uh, I don't know if you guys remember the contractors in Kekriko, Kekriko, whatever village they were the ones building back then yeah look at that, that's nice Gerudo Valley and uh, he's the leader of, of those guys, the contractor or whatever. So I guess maybe in your head you're going, well, he's a contractor, he'll need a saw. So I guess that, maybe that'll work. And this I actually found out on the first try. I just, I just went for it. Pretty sweet if you ask me. So we give him his saw. He is crazy looking. He's got a hilarious laugh. And he gives me this crappy, broken, Biggeron sword. Goron sword. Well, maybe the Biggeron is the is the uh, one I get from his brother that breaks up to like four swipes. I don't know. It's pretty bad either way. So now we jump back over. And uh, that's pretty much all we can do with that for now, I believe. I don't think we can actually finish that one until we do the temple the fire temple i i think I, I don't really remember but that's what i think so now we can actually head into uh, uh kakariko village again and get the tool that we need to go into the uh our first temple and that would be the forest temple so i'm gonna head back to kakariko kakariko whatever village come on horse and uh, we'll see you guys there. We could have just gone around. It's right freaking there. 
All right, we are back in the village. And I don't know if I've ever even shown where I go to get to the graveyard. Uh, I know I skipped going to the graveyard the first time. Uh, because I was trying to, I think that was like the 40 minute episode. And I was trying to cut down on time. Even though that was, that one probably had my best uh, retention. Being almost 40 minutes long. For some peop reason, uh, more people watched more of that one. Like it took... Um, a lot of people only watch like, you know, like a few minutes and they click off the video. But that one, they pretty much watched the whole thing. Now, I don't know which one I have to go into here, but... Oh, it's probably this one, because it has flowers in front of it. <clears throat> oh, it might be that one down there. Oh, come on. Nope, I was right. This was the gravekeeper when we were a kid. I don't know if we ever saw him. But he died. So now he says he's fast, so I gotta be fast too. And this would be pretty easy, but he starts throwing fire, and I run into it all the time because I suck. And it's kind of a tough camera angle. You don't really know where it's gonna fall at first. Like, oh my. I've actually failed this before. That would suck if I failed. I basically have to start all over again when that happens. Bub and weave, bub and weave, bub and weave. Ooh, that was close. Navi, I'm busy. Ooh, that was close too. I'm actually doing pretty good, keeping up with him. I'm in my... Oh, look at that. Intense. This is pretty intense. Mother effer. That's okay, I think I went... I still think I still went fast enough. One last door I gotta get through. We are good. So I went at the little race. 106, not too bad. Yeah, you can fly. So he gives me the hook shot, which is one of the coolest things you get in the game. Obviously, uh, um, we're gonna get all new toys being older. A lot of things we can't use when we were younger. So this thing's pretty, pretty freaking cool. And this, uh, we need this to get into the- Shut up, Navi! We need this to get into the, uh, forest temple. It's spring-loaded, just- it's like a grapple gun, basically. And it's like a, a, a raised platform that you can't get to, so you have to, like, shoot trees in order to get into it. So that's why we needed this to get in. And we'll pretty much get a new toy, you know, nearly every time. Let's see if I can remember this. I don't even remember if that's the right song. <laughs> I haven't recorded in a few days. Looks like it. Nice. After I had that little microphone incident last time, it kind of bummed me out a little bit. And then I had mic issues to start this one, but... Oh, I think there's a heart piece. All right, there is. Oh, you know what? I think I'm supposed to... Learn a song from him right now, too. Can we please hurry up? Let's put our hook shot on. I don't even think it works in here, but... Oh, it does. Never mind. I think while we're here, we might as well check with him. Uh, yep. He says, uh, What? I remember seeing that so long ago. Blah, blah, blah. It's basically telling me I need to come back um, and play this song as a kid. Oh, oh come on. Because if those of you who didn't know, um, the Temple of Time is also a way to travel through time. So I'll be able to do that at some point. It's not really a big secret or anything. So I have to come back as a kid and play that song. does exactly what it says. It makes a storm. Oops. Alright, so now we have the hook shot. So the next thing we need to do, I believe I'm ready to go for the uh, for the forest temple. And like I said, there's going to be five. This is episode seven. 
figure one episode per temple, even if it runs a little long, and then another episode for the final castle, maybe two episodes. So you're looking at 12, 13 episodes, um, and then give or take one or two more for side missions or whatever. Uh, or maybe the water temple. I don't know if I'll be able to do that one in one. That one's a pain in the ass. But, uh, so, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. I I'd say a couple more weeks we'll have this wrapped up, and then maybe I'll, maybe I'll do something else. You know, like I said, I've been losing a lot of subs posting this, but if <laughs> you guys are still around, obviously know that I don't care. So, uh, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing this because I'm a little bit bored with Call of Duty. And I pigeonholed myself to Call of Duty, so I'm just kind of spreading my wings a little bit. If that makes you want to unsubscribe, that is completely your right. So, what I'm doing is going back to the uh, where I originally met Saria. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get us up to that point. I won't stop just yet. I'm going to get us all the way up to that point. And I had somebody comment in the last video begging me to stop rolling because it doesn't make you go any faster it's just a, it's just a habit i don't think it makes me go faster it's just a habit i've always i've always done that did that when i was a kid i still do it now and i don't remember if i took you guys through these the first time i think my mic might have been working but to get through these if you see tips and tricks everybody tips and tricks if you see these these are the portal you can see the white in the middle this does not it's just black that's how you know you're going the right way. Uh, so just do that. The first time you come through here, you can hear music, but uh, the music doesn't really help you all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This jackass again. I forgot about him. So I gotta play her song, which is... Look at that. Burned into my brain. Look how I'm standing. Good lord. If she plays that song all the time, but she only teaches it to her friends, somebody else is going to learn it too, dude. That's not very good security. Alright, now I think I go straight. Shut up, Navi. I'm going. Then this way. Then this way. Boom. Yes, I know Navi. I'm telling you guys, she is the most one of the most annoying video game characters ever. Come on, let me skip this. I'm crying out loud. You told me this when I was a kid. Mashing the buttons. So we'll just get past him. These guys are pretty badass. Let's see if I can remember where they're all at. I think I can shoot him. Yep. Shoot, it's not that long. Mother! No! Oh man, I got smashed. <laughs> Navi, shut your ass. I gotta wait for him to turn around. I did not alert him to my whereabouts. I'll take the heart, since she took one from me. Ooh, don't, don't climb up there. That was weird. I'll take it. It's like I float towards this thing, and then I'll go and get up on it. Turn around. Nobody wants to see your ugly mug. Boom. That's obviously not what the hookshot is intended for. There we go. We're golden. And we got this big boy. Bob and weave. That's all you gotta do. Bob and weave. Tips and tricks, everybody. Subscribe. Subscribe. And here we are. And yet she's still a little kid. She still wants to talk to me all the time. I'm growing up now. I'm drinking beer. Got hair on my chest. Oh, that's right, she's not here. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. 
you again. Ah, the peaceful music. Oh, that's right, she was trapped uh, by the evil spirits, and I have to release her. Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting here s staring at my phone, looking at an 8 Thoughts tweet that he tweeted at me. It's a nice song. All the all the uh, the warp songs. Basically, anytime I go to a temple, she teaches me a warp song, which will help me get back there quicker, which is really really nice. Minuet of Forest. Um, all the songs I like them. I think there's only one I don't like, and I think that one is for. I don't even remember. I'm sure I like them all. So again, that person sidesteps me. So this is uh, what we needed the hook shot for. Just to hook onto that branch, and now we can get into the... Holy frick, I don't want to be up there. Oh, mother effer. Come on, man. Alright, there we go. So this will bring us into the Temple of Time. We'll do that in the next episode. Unless, I, Like I said, I'm going to try and do one temple per episode, except for maybe the water temple because it is a bitch and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>